Hello friends and welcome to our new YouTube channel. Here we will discuss about those methods which are not available in the internet world and that is why they are least used. For our first video we will discuss about the widely used performance testing tool called Apache JMeter. Apache JMeter is an open source performance testing tool which is based on Java and undoubtedly the market leader along with Load Runner which is a licensed tool. In Apache JMeter, a lot of activity can be done related to performance testing but most of the components are rarely used. One of such component is switch controller. In this video, we will show you how to use switch controller for JMeter and use it to modify your script effectively. Switch controller is based on switch case concept which is similar to if then else statement. In if then else statement, there are many conditions which decide the flow of control based on the value yes or no. When response to a condition is affirmative, a statement is run and when it is negative another condition is checked. A default statement is included in a last which is run when none of the conditions are affirmative. Switch case is a branch of if then else where there is a single condition and the flow of control is based on the values of the condition. The values need not be yes or no as it was in if then else. For value 1, statement 1 is run and for value 2, statement 2 is run and so on and if none matches, default statement is run. The advantage of using switch case is that it makes the scripts look extremely short and simple. So if you are working on a long script which can be complex as well, you may think of using switch case whenever you get a chance so that when someone else go through your script at a later date, they can understand what the script is doing. The switch controller in JMeter follows the same method of switch case, but with some changes in it. Change 1 the values of the switch statement has to be an integer starting from 1 onwards. Change 2, the default statement is kept on top of all the statements, that is the default statement comes first. In switch case, the default statement comes last. With this we can have a small demo for switch controller. The scenario which we are going to discuss is like this. We will take a country name as input. Based on the country name, the script will decide the continent of that country. Here we have Asia, Africa, and Europe. Then the script will show the Wikipedia page of that continent. When the continent is not among Asia, Africa or Europe, the Wikipedia page of default will be shown. The script is present as shown. It is a simple script which consists of a simple thread group, a user defined variables to give the country name as input a bean shell sampler to find out the continent of that country and finally our switch controller which will decide which Wikipedia search will be conducted. The entire value will be observed in view results tree. We also have CSV data set config to take multiple inputs. Which we will cover at the end of this video. So in our user defined variables, we have an input to nation as India. Now what the bean shell sampler will do is, it will check the value of nation and put a value to case value. If the case value is 1, then it is Asia. If the case value is 2, then it is Africa and if the case value is 3, then it is Europe. The default is set as 9, but you can set it as anything. Now coming to switch controller. It is here where we have to enter the value that will decide which transaction will be executed. And as I have mentioned earlier, it has to be an integer value. The first one is default which will come at top. The second one will be the transaction for switch controller which has a case value of 1. The third one will be the transaction for switch controller which has a case value of 2. And similarly the third one will be the transaction for switch controller which has a case value of 3. Now let us check our concept. When we keep the value as 1, the Asia will run. See out of all those transactions, 
only Asia ran. Now let us keep the value as 2. And we can see Africa has run. We can try the same for 3 as well, which will run Europe. And here it is. Let us keep the value as 4, then the default one will run as there was no transactions for 4. The default Wikipedia page shows that the topmost transaction has run. If we keep the value as 0, then also the default will run. For any value other than 1, 2 or 3, the default will run. Let us automate the value by making it dependent on the country. We can set the value as case value, which will be picked from the list and bean shell sampler. We can also put nation in the transactions inside the switch controller to know which one is picked. If we give India as input, then Asia should run. See it is running so well. If we give Kenya, then Africa should run. Running fine. And if we give Denmark, then Europe should be running. Working as expected, now coming to test the default values. If you want to run the default statement, you can set a value to it other than 1, 2 or 3. I have set 9 here. But you can set anything, and by giving Australia as input, we can run the default statement. See we have hit the default page. With this we have successfully understood our switch controller. Now it's time to make it work for multiple inputs. Then we can disable the user defined variables and enable the CSV data set config to pick inputs from a file. In the file, you can see the list of country names in it. Now let us run it in a loop for 11 times. Here you can see how we are deciding which transaction will run based on the input. For African nations, Africa Wikipedia page has run. For Asian nations, Asia Wikipedia page has run. And for European nations, Europe Wikipedia page has run. Well friends, let us hope that we have learned how to use the switch controller in JMeter. Unlike LoadRunner where we have a dedicated community which will resolve all the problems in LoadRunner, JMeter users find it extremely hard to fix their problem due to lack of a community for it. Hence if anyone is facing any problem related to JMeter, or even load runner, please mention it in the comment section. So that I can answer and possibly come out with another video. Till then.